See it play Death Ride Alphia Pass. It's the German operations phase, second game turn. Um, just cannot. So I cannot emphasize enough the fact that you're doing all of your, I mean, 80% of the heart of the game, moving, firing, um, uh, calling an indirect fire, um, casts if you have it, all of this stuff you're doing in any order that you want. So, so always, you know, with every operations phase, the first question is, you know, what do you want to do and in what order? So. I decided to uh, see what I could do with my three uh, off-board um, um, field artillery batteries here. So I fired uh, all three of them. I fired one at a time in this case. I looked at the odds of combining them. Huh. I never thought... You know, I never considered... Uh, I fired each one individually. I actually never considered whether... There are any rules against combining? Um, actually, I don't see why not. But so now let's see what uh, they cause. Quite a bit of um, suppression, which I'm going to show. But I do want to point out that um, I'm trying to think. I think on no, all three of these attacks were on the highest column on the fire table. So that means that there's a 20% chance that these fire missions would have eliminated the unit outright, 20%. I didn't eliminate any targets outright, but there was still a 20% chance of eliminating um, a unit outright. So what I did do is I caused three levels of suppression against that um, mounted AT unit, which is not bad. That's going to slow them up quite a bit. And then I caused uh, four suppression levels against that um, against that AT mounted AT unit yep and I caused two suppression levels against this mounted uh, this truck mounted mortar platoon so not not bad and I'm not even done that was just the offboard artillery um, now probably again don't have to do things in this order but I think I want to see what I can do with the assigned artillery with the forces on Halfaya Pass. Just of note, as I wrap up the yeah the German player turn, um, the the heavy weapons platoons with indirect. Oh wait, it, again, it doesn't matter because they spotted for themselves. So the fact that it's indirect actually, in effect, has no has no bearing. But I caused a caused a bit more um, suppression on the. On the British Army side, um, but what's and also those uh, heavy weapons platoons had their fire complete markers taken off at the end of this um, operations phase, but the artillery, including this onboard artillery battery on the bottom there, wait, is it battery or? Platoon. Yeah, platoon. Wow, that is a powerful field artillery platoon. Hmm. Um, that one has its fire complete marker left on until the end of the game turn. Um, yeah, just to note that. So while it looks like I'm doing a bunch of artillery fire. Actually, again, it's handled differently. These are heavy weapons platoons. That's field artillery. So, handled uh, mechanics differently. So we're back around to the uh, British Army turn. Um, again, general idea, not to... Well, actually, it's the same as last turn. I'm going to push as hard as I can. Try to use the escarpment here uh, to cover my approach as much as possible. Um, of note, um, all these suppressed forces here... Um, I need to double check. I mean, they're with well without well outside of a five hex range of an enemy unit, so they should still be able to move forward. Um, but we'll see what other effects there are. Um, I'm coming in range. I will be shortly coming in range of uh, anti tank units. Oh, and 88s. But uh, yeah, 88s. But I need to um, again try to use this escarpment here to uh, cover my advance. Um, 
Uh, other than that, well, I don't think there's... No, um, now, the British Army cannot use uh, Overwatch. Uh, they don't have that doctrinally, so that's not an option. So, yeah, so we have to try to cover our, our approach, and we'll see what we can do. Yeah, so they can still advance, uh, but not within five hexes of an enemy. Um, it's the same percentage uh, penalties as for their for their combat, their attack abilities. So this is a soft. These are soft units. Um, so it's it's twenty percent per suppression level. So forty percent. So their movement value is uh, penalized forty percent. Um, one important thing that I had forgotten is that. Um, transported units like this one. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, this one here. When it took this suppression, it actually should have, um, actually should have, uh, dismounted, uh, to the same, uh, yeah, suppression level. So I just, I just took the, took the infantry out, the mortar, mortar platoon out. And they're both under four, so that means where was I? <laughs> oh, I think it was there. Um, so that means that they have to go ahead and when they recover, they will have to uh, re uh, remount, load back up. Um, I think that's the only. Yeah, that's the only. But I need to remember that. So um, units being transported are forced to dismount and are at the same suppression level as the transporter. So I confirmed for myself what uh, all this suppression means. And for example, well actually, here, here's a good example. The mortar platoon that was forced to dismount under suppression, um, it now has a movement value of zero. So in other words, they're not moving with their mortars that not loaded up basically so so that immobilized them um an example up here like this unit this platoon here um even a uh wheeled reek a real wheeled at platoon like that uh, it's suppressed to level four it only has 20 percent of its um of its movement allowance remaining so just for example, and this is wheeled going across the desert. So that's um, that. Oops, that's not. No, that's not right. It's um, only has twenty percent. It's movement allowance remaining. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> that actually goes down to. Um, well, well, to put it in perspective, um, when it's full strength, it's going, when it's full strength, it's going, um, and wheeled again, it's going nine hexes across the, the desert floor. So we're talking, what is that, three kilometers? Um, yeah, three kilometers. Um, now when it's suppressed to level four, it, that drops all the way down to a single hex. So they moved forward a single hex quite a big quite a big difference um, so yeah that was confirmed um, and also remember that when they're fired on the suppression level is added to their defense which in you know it's not uncommon at all for that to shift the the odds column is it turns out to be a column shift Okay, with the rest of the British Army having advanced um, west, northwest, um, towards the objective, towards Halfaya Pass, um, I need to remember that uh, line of sight, so line of sight does not pass through enemy units with some exceptions, obviously trucks and uh, half, half tracks, anyways, things like trucks you can shoot past, but uh, 
not other units. So I, basically, I need to remember when I'm, especially when I'm shooting with the Germans as the British Army is advancing, I need, I need to remember that at this scale and scope, there's no cherry picking easier uh, soft targets um, behind the enemy's front lines. And of note, that applies to indirect too because it goes to, well, first of all, if the, if the indirect fire unit is sighting for itself, spotting for itself, then it has to have line of sight, and that line of sight does not pass, um, basically does not pass a, th a threatening front enemy line. Um, uh, and if another unit is spotting for the indirect fire unit, that spotter does not have line of sight past Again, a, a uh, combatant front line. Um, yeah, I need to remember that. I was wondering how some of these soft units were going to get very far. Um, but boy, it's tricky figuring out how to do it. So like these units over here are using the escarpment to cover themselves, for example. Um, yeah, these tanks are using the escarpment here. So uh, it'll be interesting, but going to take some losses as we approach anyways that's that's for sure okay uh, I think the British Army is done so we'll go to um, um, suppression recovery so all of these British Army units that are suppressed um, all these these units uh, they're all going to recover two levels because they're not adjacent to the enemy